Hi everyone, so I thought, sorry, I'm really washed out. That's a little better, but not a whole lot. Um, so, <laughs> like I said, I was really impatient and I took the other test and I, do, I don't want to get too excited, but let's see, it's upside down, but it came out, uh, okay, let's see if I can do this. Do you see that? That little one right there, right there. Yep, I am PG. If you don't know what that means, I won't explain it right now because my daughter's upstairs and we don't want to tell her quite yet um, for other reasons, but it's very faint. Uh, I don't know exactly how to feel about it because, I mean, I'm obviously really excited and so is John, but it's really early. I mean, I am still seven days away from having my period, so I can't, I don't know, this is one of those early detection ones, which I took actually with both babies, well, all of my pregnancies so far. So with Ava, with the blighted ovum, with Wyatt, all of them I took these, and with white, I actually had to take one of those digital read ones on top because I didn't couldn't believe that I actually got pregnant so soon after my miscarriage. So, um, yeah, so they're I guess they're pretty accurate because all of those ended up being real PGs, pregnant pregnancies. Um, so yeah, it's a really faint line though, and I think that's I hope I'm hoping that's because my HCG levels are really low still. Uh, cause it is so early, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know, I had the same exact looking one with Ava, and I was very pregnant then too, I was in denial, but I was very pregnant then. So I'm gonna take another one tomorrow morning, like I said, I got a three pack, so I'm gonna take the other one tomorrow morning when my HCG levels will be at their strongest, and then we'll go from there, but the second I took it, it's funny, but my boobs started hurting really bad, like, really, really bad. And there's Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. He doesn't know any Wyatt, so he can't tell anybody. But, yay. So, my impatience won out. I did pee on a stick, and it is positive for now. So, yeah. We're going to wait till tomorrow to make sure it's not a false positive. And I will probably connect this video with that one and tell you what the results are of that one. And if they're both the same, then I'm going to call a spade a spade. And be really excited I guess. So I've been really bloated and that was one of my symptoms that I forgot to mention in my previous vlog but I've been feeling for the past week just bigger. My pants aren't really fitting which I thought that was because I was eating more which that's another one I was having craving so I was eating more. But so I thought I would show you though not 100% accurate if I am indeed PG right now so technically it's not my before belly but I thought I would show you just around, you know, it's a little bit bloated, like I said, so it's a little bit chubbier than usual, but this is what it looked like. The jeans that I'm wearing today are, I think, American Eagle, and they're size double zero. I know, disgusting, right? But they're double zero, so with white, I got up to a size five, I believe which I know, please don't hate me, but I'm just trying to tell you, you know, how big I've got, you know, just trying to give you something to go off of in terms of how big I got. So with Wyatt, I got up to a size 5. With Ava, again, I only gained about 21 pounds with her. I gained 50 with Wyatt. So I was got up to a size 2 in pant size with her. So I've never actually been big enough to wear maternity clothes. I always, you know, cut up a tank top and use that as a Bella band. I did have a Bella band too, but I didn't want to buy so many of them in different colors, so I started cutting up my tank tops that weren't fitting and that were really, really old, which I'll show you how to do that. It's not hard at all. But, yes, yeah, so we will see what happens with this one. But, yes, I won't get too excited because I'll, I'll know for sure in about 12 hours. Again, I'm seven days away from my missed period, so this is really early, so I'm trying not to get excited, but <sighs> can you tell I'm not trying to get excited? Fine. So it's the next day, it's Friday, and 
I have to admit something. Last night my mom came over and told me that, you know, she looked at the tests and said congratulations. And she's a nurse practitioner, OBGYN. And she said, yeah, you're definitely pregnant. That's a line, you know, excited for me. And I was even more excited. And she said, and I said, you know, should I worry that it was so faint? And she said, no, as your HCG levels get higher, uh, the line will appear darker. So wait a few days and then take the test again. So I'm impatient. So of course I didn't wait a few days. <laughs> I, like I said, I got I bought a three pack originally, right? So again, the first one looked like that. See the little pink faint line. The second one that I and I took that one at twelve thirty yesterday. So the second one I took last night at about nine thirty or no, sorry, I talked about eleven thirty at night because I was really freaked out after my mom left just because you know I have had a miscarriage before and my mom also asked me if I was going to tell a bunch of people and you know I she said something about an early pregnant early miscarriages and so of course I googled it and researched it and then I got even more freaked out because I could have a chemical pregnancy which would mean that I would miscarry before my missed period I would have a positive pregnancy test but still do that so I freaked out and then wanted to take another pregnancy test so at 11 last night I took another one which turned out like that so another very light pink line and then as promised this morning when I woke up instead of waiting a few days like my mom suggested I felt really sick and stuff and I just wanted to know I guess just reassurance again and yeah so I took one more test just to see just to make sure that it wasn't you know yesterday just wasn't a fluke or whatnot and I'm very happy because this is what it turned out like See how bright that pink line is? So that means that my HCG levels are rising and that I am definitely pregnant. So I debated whether or not to actually share this information with anybody or tell anybody about the pregnancy, but I'm the type of person who, when I'm really excited, I want to share, I, you know, I just want to share things so that it just feels, you know, it's just great. But I'm also the type of person who, when things are really bad, I too want to, you know, share it with people so that I can um, not feel lonely and isolated and secluded. So I recognize that it is still very early in my pregnancy. Um, I am technically right now only like three and a half weeks. I mean, I haven't even missed my period yet. So I'm, you know, I obviously know those things and I'm still wanting to share because I realized that A, I've gone through this already with my blighted ovum. So if it turns out that this doesn't work out, then I know that I can still have a healthy baby after this, you know, and it will be hard, but I'll have friends and family to support me and I won't have to keep it a secret. And also, I realized that I, when I started my blog, wanted to be able to share myself in writing and then when I started these video blogs, wanted to do the same thing on video blogs. And I wanted to be able to share every aspect of my pregnancy and my road to getting there and having a baby. So when I look back at Wyatt, I think, you know, if I wouldn't have had that blighted ovum, I wouldn't have this beautiful baby boy. I wouldn't have him. So if this doesn't work out, I can say that about the next pregnancy. So I decided to share this. So that way I was being completely truthful with everything and yeah, so my husband's really excited and I'm very excited and I'm feeling a little bit more sick today, but still good. You know, part of me really, really wants to feel really sick because then it's a sign that I'm really, really pregnant. Um, but another part of me is like, I really don't want to feel sick. So it's a mixed bag there. Uh, so yeah, so you know. Pregnancy is just a, the wildest road because first you worry about not get, or not being able to get pregnant. Then you start worrying after you are pre or then you start worrying am I am I pregnant? And then you have to worry for the next few weeks of is this pregnancy going to be viable and be healthy? So it's a road, you know, you never stop worrying, but it's what we all choose and in the end it's really great and pays off, so I'm excited. So thank you for everybody who has been following me and the support and 
all you other fellow mommy bloggers that I've been talking to, uh, if you read my last post, I really meant it and I hope you continue to follow but I can completely understand if you decide not to and again, I really appreciate all of you guys so yeah, I'm pretty happy so yes. Alright, well I guess I'll go and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.